Good evening. We begin tonight with the wreck of the Costa Concordia and the investigation. Why did it run aground near the small island of Giglio off the Italian coast? In a statement tonight, the ship's owner, Costa Cruises, says, quote, preliminary indications are that there may have been significant human error on the part of the ship's master. It's a possibility Italian prosecutors are actively pursuing. Alan Pizzi has more on that and the search. Divers working in the icy gloom of the partially sunken cruise liner found the bodies of two elderly men, both in their life jackets. The find raises the confirmed death toll to five and leaves 15 people still missing, two of whom are Americans. Early today, an Italian crewman who had been trapped aboard, his leg broken, was lifted off by helicopter. Overnight, Korean honeymooners were freed unharmed from their cabin. Rescuers are still carrying out the dangerous job of checking corridors and cabins choked with debris. The weather is cold and hope of finding anyone alive is slim. Sniffer dogs are being brought in to check under cabin doors that can only be opened with a swipe card, looking for bodies. They'll have to work fast. What was once a floating pleasure palace is listing badly and could still slip into deeper water. The liner was heading north when it struck rocks. Within 15 minutes, the captain turned to port, left, south towards the island of Giglio, and less than half an hour later, ran his ship aground close to shore. It was the smartest thing he did, according to an Italian Coast Guard spokesman. This was the, the best decision he made, because that uh, let the people uh, with the lifeboat reaching soon uh, the, the coast. <laughs> Amateur video shows the confusion that ensued as the ship hit and began to take on water. Divers have recovered the black box, which will tell investigators everything that was going on at the time of the accident, including conversations on the bridge, position and course. The captain claims the rocks which tore open the hull of his ship were not marked on the nautical charts he was using. That defense will be tested in court. He faces charges of multiple manslaughter. The Coast Guard insists that every rock and reef along this well-used coast is on official charts. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Giglio.